Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. This is Naya Asaneo saying happy 2021. Ready to start off the new year with the bang. If you would like to see what fits in my new bag, the Coach May shoulder bag, then please watch on. Hey guys, happy 2021. Yes, I'm here for it. I'm not gonna make any social commentary about all the beep bleep 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 that is happening in America right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna skip all of that and tell you guys to choose happiness no matter what the crazy bleep is going on in the world around us. We are here to choose happiness. And hey, it's 2021. Fresh start. Start over that's all i'm gonna say yes so if you're new here hi and welcome <laughs> love having you viewers please uh leave um leave a comment down below would love that if you've been here before thank you you guys are the real mvp i always appreciate people who keep coming back to check out my channel and i'm gonna get right to it because i know why you're here you're looking for uh, what fits in my bag and i'm doing my Coach May shoulder bag. This was my Christmas present, one of my Christmas presents this year. And I have an unboxing, which I will link over here. But right now, right this minute, I am getting ready to take this baby out for a spin. So I'm going to be putting all my stuff in here. And I thought this would be a good time to film a quick what's in my Coach May shoulder bag. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I had looked, I saw this bag on the different websites, Coach, Saks, Neiman's, etc. And I was like, I want it, I want it, I want it. But when I went looking for videos on this bag uh, with all my regular Coach aficionados, I didn't see any. I just didn't see any. So I posted my unboxing and then I thought, let me do a what's in my bag when I get around to using it, which Mine, is today. This is from Maiden Journey. So... She is still stuffed chock-a-block with all the lovely uh, packaging from Coach. So I will be taking that out. And we'll just discover together what fits in her. Because I'm honestly not completely sure what can fit in here. I'm going to start off with the biggest thing. Not that this is something I carry around with me all the time. But I do on occasion need to know if this will fit. And that is of course an iPad. So... I am going to see if this fits in the bag. Um, that way I know right off the block whether this is a bag that I can use to transport my iPad in. And whoa, it does fit. I'm actually kind of surprised. I didn't think it would. It's a bit of a tight, snuggy fit. It slid in, but I had to be a bit strategic. So I'm going to take that out for now because I don't regularly uh, go around with my iPad. So I'm going to put in the regulars that I will need in here. And then we'll see if we can still fit the iPad. So, okay. Ha 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 ha. Since it is 2021 and a fabulous new year full of challenges, most important thing, antibacterial wipes. I will be putting those in. Oh. Yep, yeah, of course, that's going to fit just fine. Next is my wallet. I always use my red um epi carmine louis vuitton uh what is this zippy wallet yeah zippy wallet that will fit right in here quite easily i am currently using this uh, makeup bag here i got this in an ipsy bag a couple of years ago and the texture of it always reminded me of like the beading on like a zulu uh bag zulu beads so i don't know i like it so we'll put that in here as well. So far, so good. Lots of roomy space. Uh -huh. I have my sunglasses in a Tiffany case in here. So I'll put those in. Um, actually, let me be smart. I'm going to put the wallet back here so that I'm not digging in a hole trying to find it. I'm also going to put my lip gloss back there. I know it's 2021. We ain't using lip gloss or lipstick because um, of the mask situation, but 
I can't help myself. I feel naked without it, so it's in there. Speaking of masks, this is uh, one of those ones that like hangs down low. You can use it as like a bib. It's hand handy if you want to lift it and eat underneath it without completely taking it off. I don't know. It's Van Gogh. It's a Van Gogh. Yeah, it's Van Gogh Story Nights. So there's my mask for those of you who might have been wondering. So far, so good. Uh, that's the back pocket actually has a button there so it's secure which I'm actually kind of digging and it looks rather roomy so I'm wondering hmm. okay it does comfortably fit my cell phone um, but I don't know if you guys can see that it looks like it's stretching out the pocket a little bit and I'm not able to clip it closed once the cell phone is in there and I just have a tiny little uh, iPhone SE I don't even have anything big by choice trust me don't you love the red back I love it um so we will not be using the back pocket long-winded way of saying that because it won't shut flat here. I like that this is just a magnetic closure. It's not, I don't have to squeeze a button or anything like that to open it like on the coach tabby. This just opens straight up. So I actually really like that. But back to the cell phone. I'll just stick it in there as well. Okay. I think we're doing rather well so far. Now I'm one of those um, people who will carry um, <laughs> Two agendas, and I know it's the irony of last year. I bought my um, uh, Louis Vuitton paper and I put it in my uh, agenda, and then of course, well, you guys were there. You know how 2020 went. Um, this one, I like to keep my coupons in it, and then I also have all my like scratch papers and my notepads and to-do lists and stuff like that in here. So this one is really more. Let me take a note, let me write it down, not forget it. And so for the most part, that one is the one I tend to carry with me a lot. While this one lives on my desk. But if I do travel for work, this would be in here. Oh, that baby packs a punch, guys. Look at that. Look at that. So, wow. All of that is in here. Um, I was wondering if I could put my Beats headset. I think maybe if I didn't have the big agenda in here, I could do that. Uh, but I'm not going to try squish it in here because that's too much. I am going to try and see if the um, iPad will fit. I'm going to take the agenda though. Let's not, let's not go crazy. Let's go crazy. Well, it's like handbag Tetris, right? Okay, iPad's in big one and then in front of the iPad there's a little bit of room so that's where I'll put the cell phone probably you guys can't see that but it is in there um, I will put in this and then I'll top it off with the sunglasses again perfect and then yeah wow okay bag is now incredibly heavy not gonna lie it's incredibly heavy so this would be like a trip kind of packing, especially with the iPad in there. I, it's not something I carry regularly, like I said. Um, I, this bag does have a crossbody strap, which I will be taking off because for me, a bag this big is extremely uncomfortable as a crossbody and I would just bump into everything. So let us take that off. That is uh, superfluous. And I will just be carrying it as a shoulder bag. It's a really comfortable roominess. I'm gonna pull out the iPad. It's a really great roominess, and I think this is gonna get a lot, a lot, a lot of use. And I'm hoping this bag gets more and more popular, and I start to see it more on the YouTube's. Right? I would love that. So, guys, yeah, that's. That's, you know, there's still room for my, I would not put a water bottle in here. I tend not to like to put water bottles in my purses um, because, hello, we all know what can happen with that. But yeah, so that's it, guys. That is a quick video of what fits in my Coach May bag. Hope you appreciated it. As I said in the beginning, choose happiness. It's a choice. It's a choice you get to make every day and make the right choice. Positivity is a learned habit, right? It, it is. 
it's a learned habit and you can stop yourself from going down a negative um, path uh, sometimes I literally tell myself stop <laughs> works for me thanks guys for watching